Life adventure. Yeah. Does it have tap on that? No. It's fine there. Stagecoach slightly off the road is damaged, but the cargo is well packaged and intact. Examine it. You failed because you're a thief. <laughs> you decide to search the broken stagecoach for things that might be of use. I guess it was abandoned, so maybe it's all good. Just as you're checking the cargo, an arrow comes flying. It's also sudden, and you get hit. Monkey, monkey goblins laugh their strange laugh as they jump out from the bushes. I guess time to fight some monkeys. I think we can take them. help us drive him back to hell. You take the scroll and head over to a tarred Tidet. I'm sorry, but that is just a reference. Totally. You meet a wandering artist. He tells you that he wanders from place to place, searching for the perfect inspiration for a masterpiece. What should I paint? The artist asks you, a deeply worrying face, staring at his blank sketchbook. How about a landscape painting? Start painting the landscape like you said. Doubtful look on his face is telling you that he is. No satisfactory. At last, after staring at the painting he drew for a while, he trashes the painting and starts screaming, ripping off his hair. This isn't it. He ran away from him, sensing a certain amount of insanity. 
gaze up into the night sky while you're kindling your campfire in a beautiful sight that resembles fancy bleak black dress. Decorated with glowing jewelry is enough to dazzle you as you're staring into the night sky you see a shooting star falling. Wish they don't. They just kind of zoom around. Don't. If you're looking at the star, you quickly make a wish. I need health. <laughs> you wish for health. Safely continue. On your adventures in the future. Think to yourself that you're well. Being is the most valuable asset. Next day, contrary to what you wished for, wake up with your body feeling a bit bruised and beaten. Okay, but <laughs> looking through the notice board in the outskirts of the city near Garza, among the many looking to hire flyers, find an interesting one. Please put an end to the nightly battles that happen in my garden. I made flying machines, but uh, I'm kind of broke. I gladly hand over my family heirloom to anyone who does. Take flowers off the board and put them in your pocket. I'm going to search for the coin. That elf is fast. I think it's a girl. Got a little big tail. You find an abandoned fortress on top of a cliff. Vines covered its walls and grass as tall as your waist. Surrounds it. You know, I had one of those. Rotted. Inside a decorative statue talks to you. Warning, go any further and your survival cannot be guaranteed. Uh, just ignore it. Ignore the statue, walk further in the fortress. The statue gets up, steps in front of you, exterminating, exterminating trespasser. We'll, we'll see about that. Throw some dice at him. Alright, I'm here for this one girl take you down. Oh. Hang on. She's gonna get her butt whipped here. Eh? I got my butt whipped. Styles in the woods, breaking the silence of the night. Cautiously, you head in the direction the sound is coming from. Distance, you see ash wolves. Sounds like you see me. They're too occupied with their meal to see you. I'm gonna walk past their gate, though. Leave them and hurry your way. You're at some abandoned ruins. Oh, thank God. There are no signs of life. But you tread carefully, surveying the area just as you. Climb under your tent, or whatever it may be. Just see so you take one step, cracking around slightly shakes. You look down and notice the color of the ground is ever so slightly different from the surroundings. Okay, why are you whipping out your. Anyway. Catherine, you're getting too much trouble. Alright. <laughs> 
future. I can't talk much. I'm not gonna watch that for, for chance. Alright, check, check, check the pouch, Kate. Guild for five bucks. <laughs> nah, Pat, okay, I'll pass on it, I guess. Anyway. Stealthy. Let's get stealthy, Kayla. How do we close your pouch, Kayla? There we go. I don't like these gargoyle things. Evacuate before it's too late. We have this area quote unquote under control. Yeah, what's going on? He answers you midst his busy commands. I'm removing supplies from the great house to all these to a we got ambushed. Got work to do, so stop asking questions. And get to safety, please.
by a small cave in a rocky mountain. It's your home. It seems to have been home to bandits. Otherwise known as Butters. You enter the cave. The passage near is wide to tell up to root. It is a goblin clad fancy armor. It's a hobgoblin. No beard included, of course. And it charges at you the moment it sees you. Swing that weapon at that charge in the hobo. It stops and blocks your attack with a shield. Her human kill. They will pay you to <laughs> Rigby brushes his hand across his red beard and answers cheerful. Slay the demon and bring us his blade. Or reward you with something prizes. Tell me where the mine is, homie. You ask for the location of the mine. The dwarf takes your hand and leads the way. So the two of you arrive at the <coughs> entrance. <coughs> Walls radiate with intense heat and you follow this dwarf deep into the top. I think there might be something going on there. Something funny. Sometime later you realize the figure is heading your way. Holding a torch, judging from the sound, it makes the shape of the silhouette. It's a smartphone with a light on it, no, I'm just kidding. You can tell it isn't human. Push aside a mining cart to hide in a corner. Here where the torch turns out to be a fire breathing hellhound. Maybe it's an old black dog and he can't even walk down the street no more. Chases the rolling cart down the tunnel and disappears. You travel farther in the opposite direction of where the cart is. Deep inside the mine, you find Mithra. He is embedded in a solid layer of rock. You're about to break it out with a pickaxe when you need your voice. Hey, you might, you mind here? Turn to find a crow talking to you. What are you talking about? You ask the crow what it means. Being this point, this mine here is owned by the great Baylor. So what I mean is piss off. The worm is dying and the crows are laughing. Scratches his feathers with his beak and continues. But I might reconsider if you give me nine tenths of the mithril or break your response by smacking that crow. It drops to the floor, <laughs> shape shifts as it gets back up. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Turns out it isn't a crow, but an imp in disguise. Who grows? Figures and swings a spear at you. Okay, let's mess it up, Caitlin. Well, come on, do this right this time. Oh. <laughs> 
Gate of death, interesting. What lies beyond? You'll find out. 